Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I had to look to make sure I was live. It's Doris. I'm back. I know I haven't done a live in a long, long time. And today I have a really special guest. Her name is Sheila Fluker. And I met her uh, actually last Wednesday. We did a, a live together and I, you know, did the same thing, invited her to do a live or we did a virtual call and we had a great conversation and I learned a little bit about her and I want her to share her story and what she uh, has done. And, and now she has this uh, beautiful store. It's called Balloons Kings and Queens in, um, where is she living in uh, Columbia, South Carolina? Yeah. And anyway, uh, Sheila, I just want you to explain how you got to um, starting this store and um, a little bit about your, your um, what's the word? I can't even think of it. But what, you, what you've what you been doing. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I love, love, love balloons. Anyway, like I've always loved balloons. But um, a little bit how I got here, I never expected to be um, in the balloon business. Um, I was in the military for um, 17 years and um, that had always been, you know, like a goal, a dream of mine. I mean, if I showed you my senior book right now, it says, you know, go to the army. Like, that's what I was going to do. 30 years. I knew that was the plan, um, but it didn't work out like that, unfortunately. Well, it's not really unfortunately because it worked, you know, in my favor. But um, on a tour to Iraq, I um, I was injured and I ended up having um, really severe like back pains. And then I got diagnosed with um, PTSD, depression, um, slip disc, some of everything. Um, but mm -hmm. for short, I um, went through, you know, a depression um, spell for about four or six months or so. Um, I just kind of, you know, I was in a slump. I didn't want to take care of my kids. I didn't want to cook. I didn't want to clean. Didn't really want to do anything because I felt like the army was my purpose. And I just, I didn't know what else, you know, um, what else I could do really. But um, so good for me, I decided to get out of the house one day and um, I went to church. And a really good friend of mine, me and her were actually drill sergeants together. And we're still really good friends now. Um, she has a business as well. But um, we went to church and um, she made a balloon column. Now, at this point, I didn't know what a balloon column was. I didn't even know balloons had so many different shapes, forms. I had no idea. But I was <laughs> so amazed by the balloon column. I just I thought it was beautiful. And um, I wanted to know how to make it, never really to start a business or anything like that. I was just like, how did you do that? She said, oh, it's easy. And she tried to show me how to do it. And then she said, look on YouTube and went to YouTube. I tried to make it from YouTube. Epic fail. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be me. <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> um, but with my military background, I have always been... Um, a uh, fund of just education, you know, that's that's all we did in the army. Just, you know, you training for this, learning this, learning that. And so mm -hmm. one thing I am um very adamant about is education. I think, you know, we train ourselves and learn different things. It's it's perfect. My son's coming in now. He just wants to sneak in. That's all right. We'd like to see him and say hi. Hello. Don't be shy. Hello. <laughs> hi, how are you? Good. Are you gonna do some lives with your mom? I think you should not today. tell everybody about your your store. We love I it though. So. <laughs> right, but I'm not gonna talk, so I'm gonna be out in a second. Okay, you need something? Okay. Um, and so um, close the door, back. Uh, so I was, you know, looked up training or whatever, and I found out there was an actual school for learning how to do balloons, and I thought that was so crazy. I'm like, they teach people how to do this. So, um, I, you know, looked it up. I looked at all these classes and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And um, I called this this number. Um, the class was in Florida. Called the lady and I mean, she's like world renowned. She did balloons for the Grammys, all types of celebrity clients. I mean, she's like phenomenal to this day. Like I can call her right now if I have if I'm stuck on something and she'll, you know, tell me like off the bat. She's been doing balloons for 30. It's an art. Yeah. Hey. For 32 years. She's been doing so yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> but um, so I told her, you know, hey, 
I, I was interested in the balloon class. Um, I'm really, you know, excited about it. What do I need to do? And she informed me that the wait list was three years long for the class. And I was like, wow. Uh, so, you know, as we just kind of got to talking, I was sharing my story, you know, just how my life changed drastically, um, actually. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a faith, I'm a believer. So I just really kind of believe that God touched her heart. And she was like, you know what? Don't worry about the wait list. She's going to kill me for saying this if she sees this live because people were actually waiting to go. But <laughs> she was yeah. like, if you can get down here. I have a class this weekend. Go ahead and come. And I was like, okay. Um, well, I have, you know, some issues or whatever. Can my husband come, you know, to kind of help out? Because at this point, I didn't know if I was going to be lifting something or, you know, what was going to go on. And then I, I was having yeah. really bad migraines at the time. Um, so she was like, you know, you got to bring him along. He had nothing to do with balloons, didn't want to do balloons, anything like that. So he really came to be a help. And he was the only guy in the class. And so she kind of used him like, well, Brian, can you hand me this? And, pick up this concrete block and he was just kind of like a helper in the class and while he was in the class he was learning too and so we got back home um the class was like a week and a half long in florida and um we got back home started you know doing a little things for like family and friends and again it still wasn't like business in my head um mm -hmm. I, I knew that i liked the way it made me feel i knew that it made me happy um and then i knew the feeling that I, I would see on others when they saw the balloons. And I was like, that's something that I want to feel every day. You know, like, I feel like you just never know what this is going through. I feel like if somebody could have saw me at my lowest point, like would somebody have encouraged me if I would, you know what I mean? Like my family yeah. was me, my husband and my kids, but you just never know what people are going through. And so I really use balloons as a way to like put a smile on someone's face. So um, we ended up coming back and I was, you know, going, 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 and it kind of got a little, busier well more busy than i could handle um yeah. i was working for the government at the time he had a government job um he had gotten out of the military by this time and um he left his job and he ended up coming to work with me to kind of support my dream and um because like i said it was less too much to handle and now he loves it as well and yeah. uh, we started doing it together um and that's been two years now and so, um, cause he was kind of doing like some other little stuff on the side too, like costume characters and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. he always kind of been like a risk taker, a businessman, you know? Um, so he joined me and then, um, I was like completely, I, I had no idea how to do business. Um, so I decided to go to school and I have my MBA now in business and I just kind of wanted to learn the right way of how to do things like, okay, I know how to make balloons, but what about running the business? So um, school to learn that and the rest is history. So now we have two locations. We have a balloon store. Um, we have an event center and um, we just love what we do. It's a family business. My kids, they know how to uh, make balloon columns, centerpieces. Um, my sister actually just moved down from Texas. She was working in the medical field 15 years, um, medical billing and coding. And she just moved down to Texas from Texas to um, help us with the store because we're looking to expand and uh, maybe possibly do uh, North Carolina and Georgia. So she came down to help, you know, with the vision and um, she's really, really crafty. So it, it kind of fits her personality, but awesome. the rest is history. That's awesome. So did you start a brand new store or did you start in your home and then go to a brick and mortar store? We started, in our home. Um, we were doing it out of our basement for, um, about a year. Um, so yeah, we did out of our basement for about a year, but then it was like, okay, we were delivering to people and then people were getting like small stuff. So it's like, I didn't really want anybody coming to the house and I'm meeting yeah. them at the gas station and I'm like, okay, I didn't feel like this is really professional. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Um, so we opened a store. Right. Yeah. And so, um, people wanted like consultations and, um, you know, I, me and my husband just sat down and we were like, you know, we'll just step out on faith and just try to make it work. Like we had no idea where we were going to get the money for like the first and last month's rent. Um, the deposit for the lights was like $700. It was like so many expenses. Um, but we yeah. just kind of stepped out on faith and went forward and we haven't looked back. That's awesome. That is so awesome. And, and it got you, you know, out of, the, out of your, your funk of what was going on, like from work and, and you know now you're it's so joyful and 
it's awesome. It's like, it's amazing. And so I'm, I'm sure people are going to get like, you know, this story is going to inspire somebody for sure. You know? So. Yeah, I really think so. And um, so I was talking about lives, you know, how we do lives and we're nervous about doing lives. And, and I really encourage you, like I was telling you earlier, I have a friend that has a, a brick and mortar business and she just started this little store inside her stables mm -hmm. and she comes and does lives all the time showing what's new and, and that. And I am, I, I cannot believe how many uh, views she gets. And I think if you do that and start sharing and use your kids, get your kids, yeah. it's going to be epic for you. Yeah. I yeah. I'm so hard to hear about it. Nervous. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not afraid to speak in public. No, you did awesome. I don't know. I just get nervous about it. And then I, I try to fit in the time. And I always think in my mind, I'm just so busy and. And then I'm like, okay, then I need to put some lip gloss on and get my hair together. <laughs> oh, I put my face on. Oh, my hair looks terrible. I got a white streak right now. I need my hair colored. <laughs> you know what? It, it's all about, you know, we, we're just being ourselves, right? And and I think that's the, the biggest thing is people just, you know, start to learn who Sheila is and who Doris is and you know what? This is who we are, right. and and I think I think that's the biggest thing in doing lives uh, on whether on Facebook and you know uh, Instagram or whatever. But uh, I think it's going to be great, and I want to thank you so much for being on today, and, and come back and and please, um, you know, if you do some really cool balloon stuff and that, take some pictures and and put post them um, on our in my group. I would love to see what you're doing. Well, we're okay. doing yeah. For now, so I think the next thing we're working on tomorrow is um the nutcracker. So we'll be building. Oh. Nutcracker. I did a Christmas tree last week, trying to fool around with it a little bit, but yeah, yeah. I'm gonna build a probably a snowman this week. So yeah, please, please put it on there, and then we could share it. Um, and everybody, I'm gonna put her information. Uh, we do have. I'm just gonna show it right now. Her her website, and then we're gonna put underneath this uh, feed her um, Facebook page and her business page. So you guys can uh, connect with Sheila. Thanks again, Sheila. Thank you for having me, Doris. I appreciate it. I'm coming to visit you, me and the kids. We're coming to the farm. Anytime. Did you see my pictures with us uh, on the sleigh ride yesterday? I did not. And was it the sleigh ride? I was looking at one in the- um, <laughs> first, first sleigh was sleigh ride of the season. Okay. So it was fun. It was snowing and everything. It was a, a lot of fun and yes, uh, open invitation. Come visit me in Canada anytime. Come in. All right. You be blessed. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye.